Okay, we are finally in the final stage. I said I was going to put the song lyrics down here while I went and I looked at the song lyrics. Very, very depressing song. Very, it's just not good words for this. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was really surprised when I read the words and I went, oh my word, I can't put those words in my book. So, this is a power statement that this flower is standing alone. I don't know what else to do about that. Okay, so now we are going to start our enhancing. My choice is the black glaze pen. The black glaze pen passed my test for glaze proof pens. And actually this is the last step. I really don't think I am going to need to put another coat of the um, gel medium on because this is pretty much done except for the doodling. And I have been pondering about what to do here. I don't know if I wanna do some fancy line work. What I am going to do is because I have layers of stuff on the black, I am going to reinforce it. I am gonna go over the black lines and they will be a lot brighter. So just do short back and forth, back and forth strokes. And I know I've said this before that that gives you better control. Make sure to always um, move your book so that it is easy for you to do this and so that you're not touching where it is wet. I think what I'm also going to do is I am going to go over my letters um, in the black. Okay, so I did all the letters and all of the outlining and I used the um, glaze pen again and now it really, really stands out. Um, I am going to let that dry. So I think next what I'm going to do is some white highlights. So for that, you are going to need a white pen. There are a lot of white pens around. This is the um, Uniball Signo. I'm working on this leaf right here and I am just letting the ink flow and just scribbling really right onto the leaf. The trick to these pens is to pray they work, first of all. And then it does not need a heavy touch. The ink will flow out of it, there it goes. It skips. So if it seems to skip, just wipe off the nib. Um, so I'm just going to show you where I'm putting the um, white. So I'm doing it on that stem. And then I'm just going to scratch some color right down the middle. Good. I really just want to smudge in. 
I think I'm going to get some, oh, some gesso. Gesso will do it. Let me find that. So I have the Liquitex gesso and just give it a shake. And you can actually work with what's in the cover. You don't need to put any out. So just dot your finger. Just wipe some off a little bit. And just smudge some white in the middle and blend it out. Finger painting, that's what we're doing here. So just like in the middle of each petal. And don't worry about getting some white on your lines because you can go back and go over those lines with your pen again. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can see that. There. So, that looks good. Okay, so now I think I am going to add some black into the um, stamped circles. So those um, circles that I had stamped earlier, I'm just gonna go around them with some black. Because I don't have anything going over here, it needs to be um, filled in somehow, I think. You don't have to. Remember, you can make this your own. You don't have to follow my instructions. So I'm going to go where hopefully the ink is not wet. Remember, turn your page so it's comfortable for you. Looks good. I like it. I think I am going to do some shading around the words. And to do that, I am going to use a large pit pen. 